Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about VMware NSX hardening best practices checklist. As we are aware, within the NSX, the main key concepts includes switching lot that means in our NSX technology, we call it as logical switching and logical routing. That means we have a distributor logical router and also the uh, additional concepts within the routing. And we also have a load balancing and we have a NSX advanced load balancing concept. And when it comes to the firewall, we call it as distributed firewall. And these are all the main core concepts within a NSX. So when performing a hardening within our NSX environment, make sure that we should cover all these components. Okay. So here is the complete best practices checklist when we are performing a hardening on NSX. So these items must be covered within our hardening, just in case if you want to exclude or provide an exception for any of the item, generally we should maintain a official KB article to cover that exception items. Okay, let's start with the first one. For example, protocol and port requirements. Follow TCP UDP port guidelines, generally TCP for wire, com wire communication and UDP for wireless communication. And block unneeded ports. Generally, we will keep the uh, allow the HTTPS 443 and uh, production environment, we recommend to block HTTP port 80. And disable unneeded network services. So any of the unused network services, we recommend to disable as part of hardening. And VMware NSX, we have a main components NSX manager. It is management plane. And within a management plane, we have a, some additional checklist items. So NSX manager isolation and NSX controller isolation and NSX transport node isolation management, session restrictions, and SSH access to the NSX manager disabled. This is a recommended to do when performing hardening, but whenever we plan to access our NSX manager, we will get a exception approval for certain period and enable, and once our activity is finished, again disable. Okay, and ensure that NTP server is authorized. Instead of using public and NTP servers, we recommend to use internal official NTP server. And do not allow install use software unsupported by VMware. So always use official supported software only. And use SFTP, secure file transfer protocol for backup and restoration. Uh, suppose if you want to use a backup, we can use any of the backup, uh, such as third party backup tools also we can use, like Veritasnet backup, Commvault, Veeam backup, Cohesity, Rubrik, Jerto, and so on. And hardening IAM policies, identity access management policies in NSX cloud service environment, and set NSX manager web and API access using only TLS 1.2, so not less than the 1.2 versions, and disable SNMP minimally start with version 2, not the version 1, and use approved certificate and password retention policy. Generally, password retention policy we may maintain for either every 60 days or 90 days. And another key concept, NSX Edge, it is covers the data plane. So under data plane, uh, we should block the access to the ports not used on data plane and segment management and date of traffic and isolate the storage network from other networks and disable secure shell and isolate virtual terminal traffic Geneve. Here Geneve full form is generic network virtualization encapsulation. Okay, and VMware NSX certificates. Generally, we have a ensure that NSX manager certificate is valid and legitimate and leverage the VMware NSX edge certificates and the cipher suits, load balancer, IPsec, and VPN. And user access to NSX manager using own certificate authority, that is a recommended. And VMware NSX distributed firewall. So under distributed firewall section, implement micro segmentation with NSX distributed firewall, that is recommended. And implement NSX distributed firewall with threat protection. Similarly, NSX implement NSX distributed firewall with VMware NSX advanced threat protection, okay? And under the NSX gateway firewall, enforce security policies, implement NSX gateway, fire, gateway firewall with a threat protection. And as similar as distributed firewall, here also implement NSX gateway firewall with advanced threat protection. 
okay this is all the high level overview so with interest of our time i am not going to show you all the list but these are all the most recommended best practices checklist when we are implementing on production now in addition there are some common hardening practices for all areas and vmware products so which includes patch patch currency identity and access management remote logging monitoring backups so for example patch currency means install latest security patches and updates suppose if we are using nsx latest version 4.0 we plan to upgrade to the 4.1 and identity and access management disable default accounts and change the default passwords and always maintain a standard password complexity passwords and role based access control and even centralized authentication multi factor authentication single sign on account lockout policies we should maintain and a unique service accounts specific when it comes to nsx you should maintain a nsx related service account even the same service account we can utilize when we are taking a nsx backup and restore and remote logging enable logging to the appropriate levels and forward logs to the centralized log collector this log collector can be either you can use vmware aria login site or you can use a, any of the external third party log management servers such as we can use solar winds qb syslog server and monitor and also limit the access to the logs and monitoring we can use aria operations suit aria operations we can uh, enable monitoring for nsx as well and also there are uh, nsx is always integrated with vcenter server you can enable default vcenter level nsx components alerting and third party tool one example is solar winds network performance monitoring and nagios and uh, nimsoft and even dynatrace so many tools like ops ramp these are all the tools which will cover the monitoring and backups ensure environment is backed up and as a nsx administrator we should maintain that all our infra nsx infra components like logical switches logical routing distributed firewall load balancing all the backup must be covered within a daily schedule weekly and monthly schedules okay so hope you understand the high level overview of vmware nsx hardening and best practice checklist even in our previous session i covered for a similar kind of best practices hardening checklist for the vspr and also vmware cloud foundation vcf current latest version vcf5 so this checklist or similarly as to the previous vspr checklist and also the vcf but only thing when we are working on nsx hardening we should focus on all the nsx components and uh, also make sure that all the we should follow the all the best practices and uh, remember if there is any exceptional uh, as per the customer regulation always get the exception details with the supporting vmware kb article so that we are covered during the auditing time okay so that's it thank you if you are watching this video first time please do view like share and subscribe to the ignant cloud garage channel if you are already subscribed i appreciate all your support bye for now